All right, hi, my name is Kweku Kuni of um, Let's Learn a Country. Uh, and on this channel, we are into the speaking, we are into the reading, writing of the um, a country language. Um, and so if you are interested in learning the a country language, um, if you want to learn how to speak, if you want to learn how to read, um, write the a country language, uh, please catch us live this and every Wednesday, uh, 12 midnight Ghana time. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, so that you can get all the notifications. Um, today, we are looking at vowels, um, description of vowels, uh, how vowels are classified. Um, we did some introduction to vowels in our previous video, and uh, you can check that over here. Um, I also leave the link um, in the description box below. Um, you can check and watch that later on. Um, but the most important thing is for you to be able to um, write and say them correctly. Uh, that is the only important thing I want you to uh, note. Uh, to be able to identify, you know, the vowel sounds uh, wherever you, you, you find them. Um, whether in isolation or maybe uh, in words, just be able to identify uh, the vowel sounds and, you know, produce them correctly and also write them correctly. Uh, so for a recap, let's look at what a vowel is. Um, a vowel is a voice sound uh, that is produced um, without obstruction in the vocal tract. And uh, as I, I, I said last week, uh, there are 10 phonetic vowels in the country, you know, alphabet. Uh, but in writing, there are only seven. Uh, and so let's go over them um, one more time and let's see if uh, you can really write and produce them. So we have E. We have E. Last time I told you this E has two sounds. The E and the E sound. We have E. We have A. A also has two sound. Uh, this one. This A sound. And we have a. Uh, we have u. We have o. O also has got two sounds. O and o. And we have o. And uh, finally, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so these are the seven vowel sounds uh, we have, but in pronunciation, uh, we actually have 10 of them. Uh, so note them. This is E. E. This is E. 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 Note the difference between E and E. You know, they have the same writing, but in pronunciation, they are pronounced, uh, you know, differently. This is E, and this is E. This is E. This is E. This is A. Also note the pronunciation uh, between this very carefully. They are all written as this but produced differently. We have U. We have O. We have O and O. I believe for now um, you can produce them correctly. Let's, let's quickly um, give examples in uh, word examples then um, after that we, we, we move on to you know something else, the chat. So E. As in C. C 
is to descend or better still to wash e e c then we have e e as in fe fe to vomit fe e to vomit and we have e as in de 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 in noise de de then we have e as in emu e emu emu is rice right then we have this e as in a biane a biane is food or better still a juma a juma is work or occupation uh, then we have this a as in sika sika a a sika o anka 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 is orange and sika is money and we have u u edu edu u u edu is ten u u and we have o o bo as in beat bo then we have o o o puro o puro o puro o puro is a, a kind of animal called i think the squirrel or also yeah squirrel that's o puro and finally we have o as in koto crab koto just know the writing and you know the pronunciations of uh, these vowels uh, now let's move on to the chat so this is the um a country vowel chat and um as i said earlier um uh, we have um you know 10 uh, vowels uh, phonetically and uh, these vowels are you know classified based on the extent to which the tongue is raised um, they are also classified based on the part of the tongue that is raised um, also the lip posture is another descriptive criterion uh, and finally the advancement of the tongue root um, that is vowel harmony all right so let's start with uh, the extent to which uh, the tongue is raised um, you know the tongue could be raised um, high uh, mid or low uh, so we have you know high vowels these are high vowels we have mid vowels then we have low vowels you know high vowels are also called uh, closed vowels yes uh, when we say closed vowels uh, we are considering uh, the space uh, that is left between the tongue and the root of the mouth and so these are uh, you know uh, the high vowels e e o and u these are the high vowels e e i told you with this sound uh, i've written uh, this is the phonetic sound we produce it as e but in writing is we write it as this that is why i've you know putting this uh in you know this um uh, bracket 
Then we have O. This is O. This also has two pronunciations. So I've put in uh, the actual pronunciation in brackets. Then finally we have U. So these are the high vowels. So just observe uh, your articulators in producing these sounds. I, e, o, and u. And you could feel that there is, you know, a small space left between the tongue and the roof of the mouth. Try it and see it for yourself. I, e, o, and u. So I hope you can produce high or you know close vowels correctly. And let's move on to mid vowels. And uh, mid vowels could also uh, be called half close or half open. Half close or half open. Uh, and uh, these are mid vowels. And so if you are looking at the space between the tongue and the roof of the mouth uh, as you produce these sounds uh, you could notice somehow uh, you know some openness or some open space between the tongue and the roof of the mouth so you have a o e o these are the mid vowels e O, E, and O. And as you can see, E and O are more close than E and O. Uh, you know, there is a wider space left between the tongue and the root um, of the mouth in producing E and O than in producing E and o and so as you keep practicing um, as you keep uh, practicing with the pronunciations uh, you will note the differences for for yourself e o e and o so try practicing them on your own uh, so that you can attain perfection right and the last among uh, this criterion are the low vowels. Yes, and these are the low, the low vowels. Uh, low vowels are also called open vowels. And so we have er and a. Ah. Er and a. Ah. And these are the, the, the only um, you know, open vowels we have uh, in their country language. And as you can feel it, uh, it's more open looking at the space that is left um, between the tongue and the roof of the mouth. Ah, you know, there is a wider space. So try producing them for yourself. So let me go over these. Uh, you know, uh, the extent to which the tongue is raised again, we have um, high or closed vowels and you know, high or closed vowels are E, E, O and U. Then we have mid vowels and with mid vowels we have a half closed and half open. So we have E and O as half closed and E, O as half open then finally we have open vowels or low vowels and e eh and a ah are the only open vowels uh, we have in the akan chi language right let's move on to another criterion which is the part of the tongue that is raised so with this, we are looking at which part 
uh, of the tank is uh, you know uh, uh, used in producing these sounds is it the front part of the tank is this the central part or the back part of the tank and so we have front valves we have central valves and we have back valves and so these are front valves front valves we have e, 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 and e. these are the front valves uh, you see we, we produce these valves at the front part of the tank try it and see e, 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 and e. the vibration is at the front part and we move on to the central valves with central valves um, e and a are the only central vowels uh, we have in this language and I, I guess you can feel it at the central part of the tongue eh, ah, eh, ah. produce it for yourself and see I guess you can you know feel it at the central part uh, of the tongue as you produce them and um o o o and o are also back vowels you know in producing these vowels the vibration is felt at the back part of you know the tongue o o o o Right, and so these are um, the, 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 the back valves. So looking at the part of the tank that is used in the production of these sounds, we have the front part of the tank, we have the central part of the tank, and we have the back part of the tank. Now let's move on to the third criterion. Uh, the third criterion is the lip posture you know the shape of the lip could also be used as a descriptive criterion for um, you know vowels uh, you could round your lips or spread your lips in producing certain vowels and so we have rounded vowels as in o, o, o. And oh, you see, in producing these vowels, um, you round your lips. The lips are rounded, and uh, we have unrounded, on you know, or spread vowels. And these are e, 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 and ah. These are, you know, also spread vowels. You don't round your lips. You just, you know, you, you, you let your, your, your lips remain, should I say, neutral, right? And so basically, you know, front and central vowels uh, are spread or unrounded. You know, front and central vowels, uh, they are produced uh, with their lips at the neutral position and back vowels are also round vowels as you can see o, 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 and o, you round your lips in producing these vowels the last criterion is um, the advancement of the tongue root uh, you know the ten vowels could be grouped into two classes with regards to the tongue root position uh, based on you know the advancement of the tongue or the retraction of the tongue and so we have um, you know two classes 
So, um, looking on the, the chart, it's even easily to identify the up ones, the top ones, most of them are, the top ones are the, the, the advanced tank routes, and the down ones are, you know, minus advanced, the retraction ones. So we have E and A. E is more advanced than A. So E is plus advanced tank route and A is minus advanced tank route. We have A and A. A is plus advanced tank route and A is minus advanced tank route. We have Let me let me come here. Okay, we have e and a, and you know these vowels are very controversial. Um, I'll talk more about them when we get to, uh, you know, the advanced tongue root in detail. Uh, but e is a little bit advanced than this a. And let's move to you know the back or the rounded vowels. We have u. And o, u, u, more advanced. As you can see, the tank is more advanced in producing u than o. With o, the tank is retracted. So the u is plus advanced tank root, and o is minus advanced tank root. And finally, we have o and o, o is also plus advanced tank root and O is minus advanced tank root. And so just by learning how to uh, produce these sounds correctly, uh, you could easily note the differences in, you know, the advancement and non-advancement of the tank root system. As I said earlier on, I'll get into details uh, of this in some other lessons. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are other criterions. Um, we have nasalization, uh, we have vowel lengthening, uh, and other things uh, we will look at later. And so that's all uh, for now for classification of vowels. Uh, if you have any uh, peculiar problem or want to get in touch for some more lessons, um, you know, I have some links in the description box below. Uh, you can check that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this uh, video. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, uh, if, you, if you want to learn more about their country language, um, just catch us live this and every Wednesday, 12 midnight Ghana time. Uh, if you have any question you want to ask, uh, if you have... Um, uh, anything um, you want to know about their country language, um, we are here to help you free of charge, no strings attached. Thanks once again. My name is Kweku Kumi of Let's Learn a Country. See you in another video.